Hey everybody, Mark from Rams up here, back for another round of the Rams' path to the playoffs. And that's why they call me the eternal optimist when it comes to the Rams, not giving up on them yet, and I'm going to walk you through how they can get there. First, a couple of items of uh, noteworthy news since the last podcast drop. Terrell Burgess, uh, the Rams' safety that was released the other day, has been picked up by the Giants. Kendall Blanton signed to the practice squad after being waived, and he will get the uh, roster exemption and uh, be ready to play it on Sunday, apparently. Uh, Coleman Shelton has been out there practicing, as has Kyron Williams. Matthew Stafford, still a no-go, and it's looking like it's going to be Wolford or Bryce Perkins. And like I said, I'm going to drop a video probably Friday night, Saturday morning, discussing which quarterback should play. I'm going to weigh in on that, and I'm not even sure where I'm going to come down on that quite yet. But let's get back to our weekly drop here, the Rams' path to the playoffs. And I'm talking NFC only here, obviously. And I'm going to make some deductions, some assumptions here. The Minnesota Vikings are going to win the NFC North. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to win the NFC East and Dallas, and the New York Giants will also make the playoffs. In the NFC South, one team, someone's going to win that division. (laughs) Who knows who? Kind of pulling for Tampa Bay in that uh, if one of the other teams is in a wild card tiebreaker with the Rams, the Rams have beat Carolina and Atlanta and have a game left with New Orleans. So without getting deep into the math, I think we'd be pulling for Tampa Bay to win that division. And that brings you to the NFC West. And this is my thinking here. The best path for the Rams is for the 49ers to win the division. Seattle go into a little bit of a a slump, shall we say. Lose a couple to the Rams, lose to the 49ers. And the Rams find a way to win a few games finally. And end up in a tiebreaker with the Rams. Now, how can that happen? Let's walk through it. What has changed since last week? Bring this up for you here. Seattle standing at 6-3. and three. So we'd like them to lose at Tampa Bay. Uh, that's actually in Germany. Lose to the Rams twice. San Francisco goes up to Seattle and wins that one. And Seattle loses to Kansas City. Now, all of that to me is plausible. Uh, we have to hope they lose uh, against the Bucks and the Rams obviously have to get better and win some games, including two against Seattle. And remember, one of them is the season-ending game at Seattle, and that's always a tough one. I remember years ago, the Rams went up there, uh, the closing, the ending game of the season, the last game of the season on a really cold night, had to beat Seattle with Sam Bradford, and it didn't happen, and the Rams missed the playoffs. Uh, But through other games, three games at home, Raiders, Panthers, and Jets, I'm not convinced they're going to sweep those. So even if the the Seahawks lose, or shall I say win one of those games, I'm hoping they lose, aside from the Rams game, Tampa Bay, San Francisco, Kansas City, uh, there's some possible losses at home for them between those, especially the Jets. Jets and Raiders could both beat them, I think. So you get back to the 49ers. Now, we're actually hoping they win a few games, uh, especially against Seattle. And how about the Rams? The Rams need to beat Seattle twice. They need to beat the Cardinals and Broncos. Can they do all that? Well, I think they're a better team than the Cardinals and Broncos. You know, Maybe I'm living in the past a little bit. But if they get on track, and, and there's no reason they can't, especially if their offensive line gets a little healthy, they can beat the Cardinals and Broncos, and I think they can beat Seattle twice. Got, they have to beat Seattle twice, in my mind. They have to beat Seattle twice. And then those remaining five games, uh, yeah, they could win two of those. The Chiefs will be tough. Raiders, Chargers, Packers, and Saints. The Packers actually might be the easiest out there. But that's how I'm looking at this. We'll update this every week, and I know uh, if I continue to do this every week, I could start to look a little foolish, but I'm going to take that risk. These are my Rams. I do this every year, 15 years with Jeff Fisher. 
I had the little Excel spreadsheet going, figuring out how the Rams get to the playoffs, and it kind of feels like we're back in that mode again, figuring out how the Rams can get it done. The most important thing, we all know this, they have to start playing better football, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Let's hope that begins this week against the Cardinals with a backup quarterback. Hey, you know, sometimes when a key guy's out, other guys step up. Other teams have done that against us. It's times it's time for the Rams guys to step up. Maybe Wolford or Perkins, one of those guys, has to step up and get it done on offense. Maybe Kyron Williams will be the magic that gets this offense going. Something's got to happen. Something good has to happen for this offense. And uh, get a, just get a win this week. Get a win this week and move on to next week. We're far from done. Just need some W's. That's all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Look for another drop in uh, a day or two. We will get into that quarterback situation. Stafford potentially being out. Who's going to play Wolford or Perkins? Who should play Wolford or Perkins? Please subscribe, like these videos, really appreciate it. Till next time, out here.